Hello dear students, this is Vishal from Grade Up Education. You are watching our channel on YouTube or Dekabibi Kahibi. Today, I am going to talk about you on Chemistry. Chapter 1st, NCRT Textbook, Standard 10. But before we start the session, I would like to subscribe our channel and hit the like button. Okay, let's begin. So today's topic is it Chemistry. Chemical reactions and equations. In chemical reaction and equation, before we begin, we have to understand physical change and chemical change in chemistry. As we have studied earlier in 9th standard, physical change involves change in state of matter. That means you have to only change a substance from one matter to another, solid to liquid, liquid to gases, or further. But in a chemical change, the total concept differs. If you see properly, it involves change in chemical composition of substances. That means that if a substance changes chemically, a new substance is formed with a new formation. Just like the examples given in the textbook, you must have seen the rusting of iron, changing of milk to curd and so on. In physical change, no new substance is formed. Example, ice turns to water. Water and ice both are the forms of water. One in liquid, the other in solid. Only the temperature changes the states from one matter to another. In chemical change, forms new substance with new chemical properties. Changing of curd from milk doesn't form milk again if you keep the curd again in refrigerator. Though you decrease the temperature, that doesn't give you milk again. Example in our textbook is given lightning of magnesium strip, magnesium oxide is formed. When you burn a magnesium strip, it forms white ash with a dazzling effect. And the white ash that you get is magnesium oxide. Chemical change involves chemical reactions. Physical change, it only solid form of ice changes to liquid form of water. Now, a chemical change involves chemical reactions, which creates new substance. It supports the change in state change in color, formation of a gas and change in temperature. Whenever there is a chemical change, you may see any of this for effect, which specifies specifically that a substance has gone through a chemical change. Now, the chemical change involves chemical reactions. A chemical reaction can be better understood by a chemical equation. Equation is the generalized form of understanding chemical reaction. Let's take an example here. Lightning a magnesium strip forms magnesium oxide. That's a chemical reaction. In the word equation, I would be writing like this. The magnesium plus oxygen will give you magnesium oxide. But that would be not more generalized. Let us more generalize this. Let us make it a little simple part. It's a skeletal equation. Why do we call it skeletal equation? I will make you understand. The formula for magnesium is Mg. Formula for oxygen is O2. Which will in turn give you MgO. This is a skeletal equation. If you watch carefully, there are two elements on the left hand side of the arrow and one compound on the right hand side of the arrow. The elements or the compounds there may be compounds also. We are just taking an example. The elements or the compounds on the left side of arrow are called reactants. They react to form a compound. This is a compound with a new property. Magnesium oxide is not same or doesn't have the similar properties of magnesium. Why do we call it a skeletal system? Because if you generalize it properly, if you see, according to the law of conservation of mass, in reactant, there are two atoms of oxygen. 
and in product there is only one atom of oxygen that means a from reactant to product the balance is not there two oxygen becomes one oxygen which is not understood by the law of conservation of mass and that is why this is called skeletal equation so children now let us recall the formula of magnesium and oxygen which gives us magnesium oxide and that was what we called a unbalanced equation or a skeletal equation because it was not balanced on both the sides the reactant would have two atoms more of oxygen when the product it was only one atom of oxygen for that we have to balance the chemical equation now to balance the chemical equation the first and foremost part is to do is to see the compounds or the elements in reactants and the product here i have done the box part i have counted magnesium oxygen and magnesium oxide as the final products the other thing that you have to do is to find out the element with highest number of atoms in highest number of atoms you will see oxygen is having two in the whole equation it is having two atoms and that also in reactant as the highest number of atoms but in product it it is only having one so what now we have to do is we have to balance the oxygen in the first part for that if i need to make two atoms of oxygen in product i have to multiply two in the product which makes oxygen 2 and that would be formed like this you cannot put 2 over here because if you put 2 in the oxygen in this part below the whole equation changes the product is different than magnesium oxide now if you see properly we multiply 2 in magnesium oxide but that made a difference difference in the magnesium formation see in product you are having two magnesium and in reactant only one magnesium so now the unbalance is we generated in magnesium in initial stages in reactant it was having one in the final term term the product now came out to be two atoms So now to balance magnesium i have to multiply 2 in the reactant also that means this 2 in the reactant should be kept over here this makes two magnesium two oxygen and two molecules of magnesium oxide that is a balanced chemical equation which conserves the mass property the conservation of mass states that mass can neither be created nor be destroyed so that is what we have to see so dear students you understood the way of balancing a chemical equation now let's take an another example but before we start the another example if you are still not subscribe the channel kindly subscribe the channel and hit the like button now our next example is of iron and water when i am react with water we get h3o4 plus hydrogen gas is evolved that shows us a sign of chemical reaction a gas will be evolved now the first thing you have to do is make a block the write the number of elements in this part iron if you can see in the whole thing hydrogen and oxygen now in the second table write down the number of atoms in reactant this part is called reactant iron is having one hydrogen is having two and oxygen is having one atom this part is the product here iron is having three hydrogen is having two and oxygen is having four number of atoms the first thing that you have to 
specifically notified is the highest number of atom. It may be in the reactant or in the product. Here we are having in the product number of atoms 4 in oxygen and in reactant it is number of atom 1. So the simplest way is to multiply this number with 4 which makes it 4. In reactant you are having oxygen over here. So you need to write 4 on the front of that whole compound. Not here. This is wrong. If you write 4 like this in place of oxygen, the whole equation would change. That won't be called as water. The equation for water is H2O, not H2O4. So, 4 should be written like this. Now, when you write 4 in front of molecule water, you also note that hydrogen was having 2 atoms, which became 4 to the 8 atoms. Now, this became 4 to the 8 atoms in reactant. That should be changed in product also. So, here in product, you need to multiply 4. Now, hydrogen atom will be balanced in product also. Now check whether you have completed it or not. Number of oxygen in reactant is 4, 4. Number of oxygen in product is 4, 4. Number of atoms in hydrogen in reactant is 4 to the 8. Same implies in product 4 to the 8. Now you still need to check iron. Number of atom in reactant 1 and number of atom in product is 3. That means still we have got one unbalanced iron in reactant. You again need to multiply 3 in reactant. So that will make 3 iron 3 atoms of iron in reactant, 3 atoms of iron in product, 8 atoms of hydrogen in reactant, 8 atoms of product, of atoms in product. Similarly, 4 atoms of oxygen in reactant and 4 atoms of oxygen in product. Now, look carefully. 3 Fe will show you Fe3. 4 to the 8 hydrogen will show you 4 to the 8 hydrogen. 4 ones are 4 oxygen will show you 4 oxygen. The first thing that you saw was a skeletal equation. Now, what you see is a balance equation. So today children, what you have learned is about chemical changes, chemical reaction and balancing the equation. This part of the video will be up to here only. The next session will be in the next video. We will start with different forms of equation. Thank you.